Toys are not just for child's play, they're a source of joy for all ages. They're nostalgic and even in some cases lucrative. It's something that one Meridian man has been toying with for some time. My name is David Bazan and I am the owner of Time Zone Toys. So David, why collect toys? So it was something I grew up with taking care of my toys and I always knew that there was a collectible value to them. And as I um, got older, I saw the value kept going up and I kept collecting. So from a very young age, you've always have been invested in toys, not just as a something to play with as a kid, but you saw them as something more. Oh yeah, whenever I got a special, it was a big deal for me to go to Toys R Us, you uh -huh. know, and uh, we'd go down there, get a transformer. I would always be really careful taking it out, take, making sure we kept all the styrofoam and the stickers, I would put them on perfect, you know, and it keep everything. And when I was done, I'd always take it apart and put it back in the box. Wow. So that was, so I was very, that kid. Very meticulous, okay. So there's an art to toy collecting. Um, if people are watching and, and they're like, wow, you know, I've always been kind of interested in that or they've just been curious, um, give some tips. What are some things that they should keep in mind when they have toys of their own or perhaps they're looking to maybe see if they can sell their toys? Well, one of the things that's really important is mm -hmm. uh, just because it's old doesn't mean it's valuable. Mm -hmm. Sometimes there's old toys that might not be worth that much. Uh, condition is uh, definitely really important when um, looking for collectible toys. Okay. Um, Stick with the main ones, Star Wars, Transformers, mm. G.I. Joe, and then the oddball toys are worth something, but um, you really gotta do your research, and look for dates on the toys, and just kind of find your niche, because there's so much out there, if you try to buy everything, you'll get buried. All right, so on top of being, you know, a, a, a fountain of information when it comes to vintage toys and reselling, you're also a master yo-yoer. Yes, I uh, was a professional yo-yoer. Okay. I still am. Uh, I traveled all over the world uh, between 1998 and 2001. Um, so I got to travel all over. I was part of the uh, last big uh, yo-yo boom in America, and it was actually worldwide. So okay. I got to call, go all over Europe, throughout Asia, and all over the States um, performing yo-yo. And I've been teaching as well for the past 20 plus years. Oh my goodness, so how does one become a master yo-yoer like you? Uh, you just practice a lot. And it was just, what? I got good at the right time at the right place. That's incredible. Yep. I never knew you could actually make a career out of yo-yoing. Yes. Yeah. Good for you. Okay, so now you'd mentioned that you teach here as well. You actually have some of your students here today. Yeah, we have a group of kids that have traveled and competed at the national championships and the world championships. That is so local. impressive. Yep. Oh my goodness, okay, so you have to explain this. Well, we have a, uh, pretty much the more you yo-yo, the different styles of yo-yos you'll need. Mm -hmm. We've got one hand yo-yos, I can play with two yo-yos. Um, the shape matters, how the design matters. Um, this is better for looping, because it's got a really aerodynamic shape wow. right there. And these are designed for string tricks. So this one here, it's been, it's CNC machined and Wow. It's a pretty decent. Oop. And the sound too. I'm kind of yeah. It's the bearing, this. so um, it allows you to just to do a couple. That of... Is so cool. You do that with such ease. No way. <laughs> Dave, I had no idea that there was so much to know about yo-yo. Oh, it's incredible. And these kids that we teach here, they're really good. I just want to thank you, sir, for reminding us how important it is to be young at heart. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, because that's the true joy of life, right? Yeah, when, when you, you find, you know, you do something you love. I love toys. I love yo-yos. It's not work. It's just pretty much having fun and just doing what you love every day. So I'm pretty lucky. I would say so.